find the interval in which the function is increasing or decreasing here we observe that the function can be simplified that is we can take x common from the second and third term giving us 2 plus cos x in the numerator which gets cancelled out so we get f of x is equal to 4 sin x by 2 plus cos x minus x now to find the intervals we have to differentiate the f of x here we observe that the first term in f of x is sin x by 2 plus cos x which is of the format u by v so we can apply here question rule differentiation so differentiating both sides with respect to x and then applying derivative of sin x which is equal to cos x and derivative of 2 plus cos x equal to minus sin x we get an equation where we can further do the product between the terms and also take LCM for the last term that is 1 will become 2 plus cos x square and then expanding the square and doing further simplification we get f prime x which is equal to cos x multiplied by cos x plus 4 divided by 2 plus cos x square now to find the interval we have to find the critical points here we observe that cos x has a range of minus 1 to 1 so the second term that is cos x plus 4 the range will be 3 to 5 that is it will always be greater than 0 so the only possible solution that f prime x is equal to 0 is when cos x is equal to 0 and we know that cos x will be 0 when x is equal to either pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 so this critical point x equal to pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 divide our interval 0 to 2 pi into 3 disjoint intervals which are 0 to pi by 2 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi now observe f prime x we see that uh, cos x plus 4 is always greater than 0 and in the denominator 2 plus cos x whole square is also always greater than 0 that is the sign of f prime x depends only on the sign of cos x now in the domain 0 to pi by 2 cos x is always positive so f prime x is also positive in the interval pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 cos x is less than 0 so f prime x is also less than 0 and in the interval 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi cos x is greater than 0 so f prime x is also greater than 0 hence we find that f of x is increasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi and f of x is decreasing in pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2.